I'm Sean Stevenson. I'm a clinical nutritionist and the host of the Model Health Show, featured as the number one nutrition and fitness podcast on iTunes, and I'm also a best-selling author. Well, my mission is really to help people to feel empowered being in their own body. You know, um, you live with yourself all the time. You know, you should know how this operates, at least on a very basic level. Um, and so also we've oftentimes been turning our health over to people outside of ourselves. So just starting to understand how we work, you know, how your body burns fat. You know, it sounds like oh, it just happens, but it's actually, there's a biochemical process. It's actually pretty simple. And also helping people to reverse engineer illnesses. So if somebody's dealing with diabetes or heart disease, helping them to understand what the underlying cause of the disease is so that we can remove that and thus the symptoms are no longer there. So that's really where my work is, is helping people to understand themselves, understand wellness, but also understand the manifestation of illnesses as well. And kind of the, the need that I'm feeling is bridging the gap, you know, taking that information about optimal health and wellness and reversing diseases and making it accessible and understandable by the general public, you know, so that the person hears from me and they actually feel smart you know, instead of these big words getting thrown out without any real meaning. And also feeling the need of, uh, and I've definitely got the corner on this one, is sleep. You know, sleep is a huge issue. I just saw a study actually earlier today showing that around 70, upwards of 70%, at least 60% of Americans have sleep problems either every night or every other night. But nobody's talking about it. And so that was kind of the premise of the best-selling book, Sleep Smarter. And because there's three main components with health, the right nutrition, movement, and sleep. And this is the part that a lot of people, they have no idea how valuable it is. So why don't we pay more attention to it is the fact that it's passive, you know? Like sleep is something where you don't do anything. And especially in our cult culture and just Western culture period, we can get down with like a new diet you know, a new exercise program, we can go all in because it's active. Like I have to do something to get something. And sleep is the total opposite. You know, like you just do nothing. And so it's kind of hard to wrap our brain around that we get value from something that we don't do anything. Uh, there was a study done, uh, uh, published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal, citing that, you know, they took individuals and they put them into two groups. Group A and Group B both had the same exact diet and exercise. The only difference was group A slept eight plus hours a night, group B slept less than six hours a night. At the end of the study, they found that group B lost far less weight and far less body fat. And the only difference was the amount of sleep they got. And this is also what makes my work different is that it's not about quantity. You know, at no point in the book do we talk about you need blank hours of sleep, you need eight hours of sleep. It's the quality. So we look at stacking the conditions in your favor because what you wanna do is get your body into more it's called non-REM sleep more frequently, the deepest anabolic sleep so that you actually wake up feeling good. Because many people have experience where they sleep for nine, 10 hours and they'll still wake up tired and groggy, right? It's because they're not getting their body into that anabolic state. And so that's, that's the one conversation. Another conversation we can get into uh, really quickly is the, the brain, you know, and understanding your performance and your focus and your creativity. Uh, there was another fascinating study done and they found when somebody, when an individual was sleep deprived, there was far less activity in the more um, evolved parts of the brain, you know, the prefrontal cortex. So this is the part of your brain responsible for your decision making, your quote, willpower, your uh, distinguishing between right and wrong. The, that part of the brain kind of, start, the lights start to go out, you know? And so when you're tired is when you tend to make poor decisions. Your body really changes while you're asleep. This is when your body releases all the repairing hormones, the repairing enzymes to help to build you up and make you better. You know, so sleep is a secret sauce and it's that it's that big component that a lot of people are missing out on, but that's about to change in a big way.